Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 24 of Terraria 1.3. Last episode, we found our way back in the jungle. There's something shooting at me. Nope, nope, nope. So what we did is we found that granite chest that I missed a couple episodes ago. I thought, again, I thought it was a table. I was just like, nope, that's a table. <laughs> it wasn't a table. Uh, nothing unique in it. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Like some kind of biome-specific loot. It doesn't appear to be the case. And there also appears to be quite a bit of stuff around here. Looks like we hit the heart of the jungle. Why can't I double jump? Yo, oh, where did I just get five gold from? Am I finding like things on the ground that have gold in them? Earlier we found something that dropped like ten gold. I don't know what it was. And yeah, we're in the jungle. Spores are needed for the remainder of some of the jungle gear that I want. And I mean, I can't help myself when there's like all this ore and stuff. Just why not? Might as well while you're here. The jungle is so fruitful. Right for the picking. Yeah, that thing is just flying at me. That was ridiculous. Can I, nope, no. Can I grab this? Grab this? Yes, grab this. And now we split the difference and we kill everything. Man eaters. QB. Hornet. Oh, I tried to burn them. Alright, so you being a jerk. And they just. they haul ass sometimes. Yeah, you know what? I'll just like plop this down here. It's like, yeah, just give me a give me a buff against bees while I'm down here. Come here, Spore, I need you. There's a life crystal down here. That's a dead hornet. Jerk. Moon glow. Gimme gimme. Life crystal, and there's so much ore here. Yeah, I see you stupid boulder trash. I should disarm you. I should disarm you now. Yep. Just just get it out of the way. That way it doesn't bite me in the butt later. And mine my way back out because apparently I got my way in. You can see there's a chest down there, so that's pretty cool. Or detect me by. How about the chest? How about you detect the chest? Let's get myself over here and you die! Oh, he's still hitting me. What a jerk. Alright, so piranhas. Watch them, piranhas. Piranha highs. Oh, hello. I'm a little bit hurt, but I can still heal. You can get carried away very easily in the jungle, like just exploring non-stop, not even paying attention to your HP, like just running through here and mowing things over, not paying attention to the little damage ticks that you get from those hornets as they shoot you, like the poison. It, it yeah, don't, don't forget about that. That's a feather fall potion, right? I just get rid of the lesser healing potions, they don't do me very well. Sure, I'll use that. Featherfall potions aren't my favorite. Certainly useful. But they aren't like, oh my god, Featherfall potion. Alright, we're taking so much unnecessary damage. Okay, so let's go get that chest. They're definitely useful. And you can control the rate at which you fall. If you hold up, you fall slow. If you hold down, you go very fast. Looks like that Spelunker potion wore off. And that was my last one. However, we know there's a chest down here. So let's dig our way down. I see you, Mr. Piranha. Mr. Piranha's plural. There's apparently quite a few in there. Nope, nope, space gun! Space gun! Alright, so Feather Fall Potion sometimes gets very annoying when you want to fall down and you can't. Oh, <laughs> I want to put a torch in here. What do we got in here? That's a, another Garlic Army! Ah, I should capitalize on that. There's apparently some unique things that they can drop now. Magic Mirror. I should come up here and get some oxygen. Loot everything I can. Uh, flaming arrows are garbage. For the full potion, I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. Screw it. And I want to break this so it doesn't doesn't stay here. That way I don't see it later on. Yeah, let's go deal with the goblin army. As much as I still want to explore, let's go deal with that. So let's quick stack what I can, clean up some of the inventory space. These guys are going to kill everything. Shop, I would like to sell that because it's useless. We've already got a depth meter. Let's get rid of it. I'll go turn in the die. Shut up, birds. I keep getting birds in my house. Reflective silver die. If that's anything like the gold die, I'm sadly not interested. It kind of was a disappointment. So they're going to come from the left side of the screen first. Just get rid of that so I don't accidentally heal with it. Okay, so quick stack. Goblin army is here. The dryad's probably going to get nuked. However, we are so much better off in terms of weaponry than we were last time. It's ridiculous. 
so we're, we're pretty much okay. I want to see if we can get that unique thing. Uh, there's something unique, and maybe maybe I have to wait till hard mode. I thought there was something else the Goblin Army had now. So, I mean, look, like the penetration on these dudes on like a line. <laughs> the feather fall push. Did you see that knockback I took? <laughs> That's one of the other reasons you don't. I don't really like feather fall potions. They can, they can be dangerous. Thankfully, you can cancel your own buffs if you really wanted to. I, know, I might hold off on it for now. Dryad, do you heal yourself? That's the question. Dryad's blessing. The power of nature protects you. Does that mean I take decreased damage? How's that work? That was ten. And I think I had her buff. I don't know what happens if I don't. No. 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 Get out of here. I want to watch her health. I want to see if she heals herself. Come on, do your buff. Yep, she's healing herself. Goblin Warrior Banner. That would be a useful thing to plop down if I could find it. Okay, it's on my hotbar. I'd plop you down, like right here. Or not. Right here. Yeah. Alright, so more damage against Goblin Warriors. What about the other dudes? The Rangers and the Peons. And then the Majors. You go NPCs, they're, they're they're like going out of their way to kill these dudes. <laughs> oh, the Shield of Cthulhu plus Featherfall Potion. <laughs> Featherfall Potion has redeemed itself. That's funny. One gold for silver. This is a little more of an open area. I don't know if I want to do this because the NPCs might just be stupid and kill themselves. But yeah, this seems to be working very well. So yeah, I mean, what did we have last time? Was it the bow? Oh, and the musket. We had the musket, and then we got the harpoon thing at the end. Stay near the dryad. Free HP is always nice. I definitely like her AoE heal thing. The nurse, I think, heals more, but she can only do one target at a time. I like the dryad's buff. That's pretty cool. We're definitely due for one of those banners soon, huh? I'd have to imagine. No. Die. We got extra money. We are 90% already. Man, that went quick. Yeah, I mean, when you're mowing them over like this, I suppose it would, huh? <laughs> it was a lot more difficult last time. Come on, I want to get my, like, 50th kill in or whatever one of you. Surely there's some of you left. That can't be all! Aw. Man. That was all. Damn it. Get out of here, buddy. Nobody asked you. So, a bunch of spiky balls, but uh, we can just sell them. Pretty much, I don't think they're a material. Nope, it's consumable. So, 30 free silver. We'll get rid of that. Pretty damn sure we don't need that compass anymore. But, I'll hang on to it for the time being. Now, I didn't make the Terror Blade. I am positive I didn't. Let's check. No. I don't think we did. Do we have the stuff for it yet? All oh, we do. Oh, why, 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 why did I say Terror Blade? The Blade of Grass. Damn it. Blade of Grass. Blade of Grass. Blade of Grass. Blade of Ass. Now I know. It's the Blade of Ass. So we didn't get any fancy roll on it, we just made the Blade of Grass. But it's 30 melee damage, which is already 10 more than what this thing had to offer. And it's a pretty big weapon, so it's got a pretty big arc. It's not incredibly fast to swing, but it's definitely good. And I believe it does poison. So that is cool. Kind of goes with my die set, doesn't it? I like it. Do we have marble die, or marble blocks? We did, so we stored those. Danger Sense Potions are the only potion I really need when we're going over where we're going. They blooms. Ah, you actually are blooming right now. And yeah, we've gotten quite a few. I think we have plenty of Shiver Thorns. They blooms seem to be the potion or the ingredient of choice as of late. So let's <laughs> let's use a lot of those. Yep, now they blooms should be coming back. Well, this brings up an interesting thing now. What I might be able to do. Let's go. Iron skin. Let's get our iron out. Eh, we'll get three. So what I'm considering is let's make the iron skin potions, if we can, which we should be able to. Okay. That regen potion probably needed a day bloom. I was very much considering making one of those, but I didn't think ahead. Damn it. Anything else in here? Magic power potion, visibility potion is useless, builder, danger sense. Flipper, <laughs> smooth, slowly, wormhole potion. None of these things are going to help me out, I think, very much. Danger Sense Potion. Yeah, let's make a few more. These are just too good. 
So, Iron Skate Potions, that's going to help. I wanted to make that regen potion, but it, I mean, we're going to be getting regen from honey. We're also going to be getting regen from a campfire that I'll put down over there. Maybe we can get away with it with what we have. Uh, I could just be uh, hoping for the best, but not expecting the worst, which is not what I like to do. I like to expect the worst. I'm, uh, let's maybe be prepared. Take a few more mining potions. All right, so let's try it. We'll try it with an iron skin potion. We'll go put a campfire down there as well. We'll attempt to kill the queen bee. This, I make no promise. I make absolutely no promise. So we'll see what she's made of. She might kick my ass. Her first two phases, like the, the charging and then the her shooting bees at me, should be pretty manageable. It's the third and final phase, which seems to be the <laughs> kind of the theme here. But that's when she does a lot more dashes a lot more frequently. And that's going to be fun. I really like this thing. Melee weapons have armor penetration. That's a cool little thing there. But yeah, let, let's let's give her a whirl, see what happens. And if we kick her butt, we kick her butt. If we die, well, I told you so. I'm also considering just putting this like over here. That just makes more sense. Having to go in my inventory to get it seems weird. Being able to just go up there and press it makes more sense. Okay, so we're already just about over here. It's honestly not 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 bad of a trip to get over here. It kind of seems like they brought the jungle in closer, but I could just be I could just be imagining things. Maybe I'm just used to moving like the really big distances. And oh, that's right. We also have the bunny thing. I don't know if that's any better. The problem is I can't use my boots. And plus, he goes away when you're in the water. So maybe it's not. Maybe maybe on a perfectly horizontal surface. But I think overall. All the mobility items I've gotten, that's better. If we get lucky and we kill the queen bee, she could give us the bee mount. I think he could fly with that. Right? Right? Am I right? I don't know. I think he can. And just be careful. Don't kill yourself with fall damage. That would be silly. I wonder if the shield of Cthulhu dash cancels fall damage. Like, if you do it right before you fall, or right before you hit. I'm not willing to test it right now. Not, not when we're falling this far. But, that is something to consider. Okay, and I'm popping this now. This lit up. See, I mean, again, yeah, it, the, these flares don't stay here. So, the B thing, he's not that far off. Nah, 20 HP. I ain't worried about it. So, we'll have the well-fed buff. We'll have the cozy from the fire. We'll have the regeneration from the beehive, or, or the honey. Like, if you stand in the honey, you get that buff. That's pretty good. But she does double damage now, so yeah, it's not going to save my bacon. I see you, you stupid mushroom. Damn it. I want to go kill the thing. Quit making me... Quit distracting me. Okay. Now, do I want to open this up at all? I don't know. Because when she's kind of hiding behind blocks, it's very annoying to hit her. Maybe we'll do that. So we'll put a few platforms now, just to make things easier myself. So I'll just complete... Yeah, I'll complete the platform set. Put the torch down for you guys as well. Putting a putting a thing there didn't really make much sense, but that's fine. Hi, bees! Man, I must suck being bees. You guys are stuck. Okay, so what I'm talking about is up here. Please don't accidentally mine this thing. Yeah, that's right. Taste Terror Blade. See, that thing got slowed down for being in there. How long does this last? 30 seconds. Okay, so I only have to just jump in there every 30 seconds. That's not bad. But even these little buggers are doing 14 damage. Gotta be careful. And we're we're leaking honey down there. We're kind of messing up our little platform thing. I don't know how worth it this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're hurting me. Fine. I'll kill you. <laughs> these guys are tenacious. If your pick doesn't kill them, they will kill you. Not to mention the poison. Okay, so that might be good enough, because what she's going to do likely is go up and then shoot beasts through a wall. It's a little bit annoying, but it's not like I can't just come down here. Watch my health as it goes up very quick. Let's see, does Cozy... It's cozy buff. How well does that stack? Oh yeah, that definitely stacks. Definitely helps. Well, don't say I didn't warn you guys. This may be a death. This may not be a death. I don't know. We'll try it. Press B to make sure we're ready to go. Okay, so here comes here comes death. Alright, so that was only 30. 
Now, my understanding is I can charge her like that and save myself a few hits. And she should start shooting bees at you. And as long as you can keep them down. Gotta watch her stingers. I don't know if she poisons or not. Looks like she does. And you quit shooting at it. And save those, save those hearts for when I really need it. Try to dash. I don't know if that would help. Okay, try to kill the bees with dash. Yep. Da oh, try to dash. You can't dash when you're in the honey. Okay. Noted. Try to stay still when I can. Because that means regen quicker. Hit it with a dash. It's not this phase I'm worried about. It's what's coming up soon. Okay. Nope, easy to die. Okay, save myself some extra damage. Get that honey thing. She's hurting me. I'm gonna do this now so we can do it when she goes into her next phase. Yeah, her fingers are getting the better of me. That sounded naughty. They don't no no oh, the bees escape! The bees are kind of a killing me! I wanna kill the little bees! Kill bees. Ah, I didn't get my charge off. I think she's doing it. No, maybe not. Don't stay in the honey. Don't stay in the honey. I can block her stingers with some blocks. Can, she can't shoot through blocks. That's a valid strat. 20 seconds till I can heal. Come on, we got this. Maybe not, maybe. Damn it, I tried to dash. Go. 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 Bees. Little bees. I'll take the hearts. If you want to be more generous with your heart drops, that's cool. Okay, we're not doing well now. <laughs> I used the heal. Try to dash, kill the bees. It says little bastards. She's close. She's close, but she's killing me. Oh god. So close, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Kill the bees with the sword! Kill the bees with the sword! What am I stuck on? Ah, uh, we're likely going to die. Let's do this. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Oh, I was gonna fucking teleport! God damn it! Nope, it was close. It was close, but I made no promises. I had a feeling. We can do it. We can definitely do it. I don't know what was hitting me some of those times, to be honest with you. Like, it didn't seem like there were any bees, but I was getting knocked about. Oops. So that sucked. But, like I said, no promises. So, can we make the bee nation? We have this. We need stingers. What else did I need? Let me show the guide real quick. I can redeem myself. I wonder, do you have to summon her in that biome? I don't know. So, there's a stinger. Oh, is it just a bottle of honey? Oh, uh, that requires you to go back over. Fuck. So what you have to do is take a bottle, and just like you get bottles of water, you have to use bottles over there. So that means I need sand. Because it doesn't look like I have any bottles. I got plenty of sand. Cool. But yeah, I made zero promises. So I kind of saw that coming. I'm not going to cry about it. My first few fights, I expect to die on some of these NPCs with their new phases. She's definitely tougher, especially with the double damage. And then her having all those bees. Yeah, that, that, gets, that gets rough. Did I have a strange plant in my inventory? Did I turn that in? I totally turned that in. So, do I have to be at a crafting station? What, what crafting station? Maybe we can craft it while we're over there. Can it just be at a workstation? Oops, I didn't make, I mean to break your torch there, Jeff. I'm sorry. Fired object, none. So I can just craft that on the go. So as long as I bring... Yeah, as long as I bring some honey blocks or something over there. And the bottles. We can make it and just, you know, summon her over there. Works for me. Save that iron skin potion. We'll, we'll be fine. If I have that regen potion, that may have made that difference because she was, like, on the brink. She was on the brink of death. It was close. All right, so I'm going to put these flowers away. Flowers away. I'm going to put these stars away. Put those away, too. Okay. No day bloom. So before I go over there, I think I'm going to wait for day bloom. I don't think there's going to be any... Uh, we won't get seeds, but I don't think there's going to be any day bloom I can harvest on the surfaces there. If I could kill the bees, the little bees, quicker, we'd have that fight. 
I could use the Terra Blade. Maybe I should consider using it more. But it would also mean that I'm damaging her less because I'm not hitting her. I wonder if the B thingies, the B banners, work against her. And yes, you can see, this thing is poisoning. Hey, watch, let me hit a zombie. Let me demonstrate. And those aren't always a poison. Let me try that again. Maybe you can't poison zombies. Maybe you can't poison zombies. I poisoned the demon eye. Some things are immune to some forms of damage. Looks like these guys are immune to what I want to show off. There is an obscene, an obscene amount of blood coming out of these dudes when I kill them. Watch that. Yeah, that's like blood coming out of them. Those pixels. Okay. So I need Dablin because I want to make that regen potion as well. Hey, can I poison you? You're going to make a liar out of me. It's oh, there it is. That, that damage tick. It's minimal, but it helps. Hey, maybe we could kill... You know what? Let's let's do that for S's and D's. Didn't we need more Demonite Ore? I think we did, so... I think I have a suspicious looking eye right up here. Alright. <laughs> I somehow don't think that with our gear set up now, that we're going to need to have a uh, <laughs> an Iron Skin Potion popped, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Let's pick on the Eye of Cthulhu since the Queen Bee gave me shit. So, I mean, this is so much faster than using the musket already. And then the fact that I can get away from him like that, with my boots, it, it's so different. Yeah, this is going to go a lot quicker. Can I poison you? Are you immune to this? You are really annoying when you go upwards, though. I hate how he does that. And I, mean, I think he might be immune to it because he's a boss. Most bosses are immune to most forms of like damage over time things. I can get away from it really quick with this thing. <laughs> there it is. God, oh, that's so creepy. It's so creepy. I love it. I has your shield, bro. I don't fear you. And when he goes in his last phase, I will likely use the blade of grass. Because, because this, <laughs> it's gonna be really hard to hit him. Well, let's just play the grass in. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's close. Does he do more damage in that phase? Kind of seems like it. Treasure bag. Regular shield of Cthulhu that time. We got some more demonite ore. That's what I was really after because we did get shafted the one time. Uh, no, wait, no, we did. We got shafted with the, the Eater of Worlds, so I didn't get two different uh, demonite ores drops. And I don't think we made our full set of Demonite yet, because we ran out of ore. Let me check. I don't really need Corrupt Seeds, I don't need those. What are these worth to vendors? Only 30 silver? Well, I have no I have one with a buff on it, so I don't really need that. Let's can it. Uh, okay, so let's quick stack everything. I'm gonna sell this. So, Demonite, ore. And let's put the ore in here and see if I can make some more bars. There they are. Okay, so how many? I th I, yeah, we didn't even start crafting it because we didn't have anywhere near enough. So that's what I remember. So 15, 25, so we're at 40, and 60. We have, we have just enough to make the set. Now, is it worth making that set for the defense? You do get more defense. And I believe the set bonus, does it tell me? Of course it won't. I believe the set bonus is more defense or... Was it melee speed increase? It might be melee speed increase. I don't think it's worth it in our current situation. As much as I want a melee, you, the space gun's going to be king for a little bit for me, I think. So I'm going to hold off on that. What I will do is let's wrap it up here because in the next episode, I'm going to get some day bloom. We'll make some iron skin potions and some regen potions. And then we'll head over to the bee, queen bee, and we'll make ourselves some bee manations. If we get lucky and we kill her, cool. Uh, I might farm her, depending how well it goes. I, I might open up the arena a little bit. Or I might do something with, with blocks to block her, her stingers. I don't know. Let's, let's change things up a little bit. But, yeah. That works for me. Alright, guys. I, I told you. No promises. Didn't expect to kill her. I'm not mad that we lost. But, yeah. Let's, let's wrap it up here. Episode 25. I love Terraria. <laughs> There's so much more to do. There's so much more to do. It makes me so happy. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.